Alex. Boutron. I'm in a good conversation with him at dinner last night. He was saying that things like bike setup, he's really starting to understand about now. He's got Alessio Chiodi in his corner as well as 84 Hurlings looking to make a move down the inside of him. So the reason why he's riding in the Spanish Championship as well, not the Italian Championship, is to get the feeling of winning and, and, and going for race wins, getting the nerves out of the way, knowing what it's like to win again. Well, he's doing a great job here. There's the riders cross the line now for the fourth time. See, we're still there in third. Geiser going to square him off here in the bottom corner below us, is he? Well, Geiser still not found a way through as the GoPro gets roosted. There's Tixie 8 in fifth, Ferrandis 6, Guio 7, Fevre 8, Koldenhoff 9, Tonus is... Tonus up to 10th place on the CLS Kawasaki Monster Energy Machine. So uh, it's taken him four laps to get up to 10th. There he is. Well, if anybody was questioning the nerves of the man coming in here as a championship leader, the weight of expectation that comes with the red plate and the championship lead, well, then think again, because Tonus is there in 10th. Jonas is 11th, to pray 12th, Bogus 13th, then it's just Monticelli, Covington, Stike, Malay, Lieber and Petrov. They top 20 as Hurlings eventually goes through past the Spaniard, who looks to respond immediately and does well, does so as well. These guys squaring up to each other. Boutron not going to take it laying down, but looking through both <laughs> sets of mirrors there. Jeffrey Hurlings, he's got Boutron one side, Jeremy Seaware the other. Oh, and Geiss are getting involved as well. A four-way battle on this hard, slick, choppy racetrack here at Arco de Trento.